Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Commons. My name is Tom Booth, and today my friend Sarah Hart and I would like to share our song, The Feast Meant for Everyone. We hope you enjoy it. Bread for the immigrant, bread for the poor, bread for the hungry who beg at our door, food for the outcast waiting to belong. Come to the feast meant for everyone.
We hope you enjoyed that video of the song, The Feast Meant for Everyone. And Sarah and I are so honored that our good friend PJ Anderson could be singing in that, in that video and on the recording. So this song uh, is very special to Sarah and I. Um, I'll be honest with you, it was my idea to, to write the song and I went to Sarah Hart and if you have ever seen her write a song, it's like a holy tornado. I had some ideas, I had some melody ideas, but Dear Sarah is truly, I, I would say this, one of, one of the most prolific songwriters we have, I think, in the American church right now. She's so special. So I, I helped Sarah write my own song. And, and she had so many beautiful ideas, but it started with a simple phrase. Bread for the immigrant, bread for the poor, bread for the hungry. You know, and I came to Sarah and I said, let's write a, a communion song that, that, that's for everyone. Because the Eucharist, the Mass, the Word of God is for everyone. Bread for the shelter, bread for the rich, those who need nothing. And then Sarah wrote, but all Jesus is beautiful. Food for all people, empty we come. You know, when I think about the Mass, when I think about the Eucharist, and we're standing here in this church, this chapel, where I, where I am honored to worship and call my spiritual home, the Newman Center here in Tucson, every time I receive the Eucharist, I'm not ready. Well, I'm not worthy. I try to be ready but I'm not worthy. And we say that in the liturgy. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, you know, under the roof of my mouth, into the roof, into the home that is me. So this feast is meant for everyone. You know, it occurs to me standing in this church, this chapel today, that it was many years ago when I sat right over there and a wonderful Dominican priest, Father Tom DeMann, said to me, and I was just visiting, he said, you know, you have a place here. If you ever want to come here, you have a place here. And that, as a young person, it meant so much to me that, that this feast, this celebration, this sacrifice, this communion that was happening here, that I was invited, that I was welcomed, that I was told, I, I was literally told, we have a place for you here. And that's so important, not only for a young person, but for anyone to hear. And, and Sarah and I wrote, drink for the brother thirsting for more. Drink for the sister who's run out of hope. You know, when we are preparing for the liturgy as a music group right over there, I, I try to remind our students, you know, maybe it's not today, but there's going to be a day where you're here and you're that broken person. You're that empty person. And so the good Lord, our beautiful church, invites everyone. All are welcome. That's the idea. Behind me is this beautiful altar table. It's not just an altar, and it's not just a table. It's an altar table. It's not just a sacrifice. It's not just a meal. It's both. It's kind of like the incarnation. Jesus is 100% human and 100% God. What an amazing incarnation. <laughs> this, and, and it's true for us too, that, that we're invited to both kneel and sacrifice. And anytime we wanna make it one, more than one and less of the other, it's 100% both. So for me, this lyric, oh, how great is the love of God, in this body broken, the saving blood came real to me when someone said, you are welcome here. Come be here. Come ask questions here. Come experience God's love here. Come and receive the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ. And it's amazing when we go to mass and when we hear these words, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, 
one spirit in Christ. So we are invited to become what we receive. So yes, all are welcome. Anyone can walk in those back doors. But this beautiful sacrifice, this amazing meal, does demand something from us, right? I remember being a student and uh, we were playing music at the mass and it was during the consecration and I was getting ready for the next piece of music and turning a page and, and my friend, Dave Tornabande, many years ago, I don't wanna say how many years ago, said to me, gently, he said, the most important thing in all of creation is happening right there. And he pointed to the altar. He pointed to the priest, the presider. So we have to be patient and loving with one another. And grace builds on nature. And we do become what we receive as we participate. Like Mary, the mother of God, who said yes. As we participate with grace, transformation happens. And we become the Eucharist for others. We become, the church is the sacrament, right? Of good news to the world. So this feast meant for everyone. You know, it's in the uh, Choose Christ Missal and in Breaking Bread. But what's so exciting on behalf of Sarah and I to say that maybe we got this one a little bit right that this invitation is to all. And I tell you, we sing in the chorus, oh, how great is the love of God. Oh, how great is the love of God here in the feast meant for everyone. All are invited. The love of God is the point. It's the love of God that transforms us. It's the love of God that brings hope and salvation and peace and purpose. So we hope you enjoy this song. We hope you use the song. I hope that we all embrace the love of God and in our worst days to know that this feast, this is meant for everyone, including you, including me. Thank you for joining us on the Commons.